Most golfers struggle with two primary things, consistency and swinging too aggressively from the top with the wrong part of their body. Now, those two things obviously go hand in hand. And so for most golfers, if they're not very patient and they wanna just rush through the things, they don't go through the RST five step in sequence and learn the body movements correctly first, they need a little helping hand that's gonna help push them over the edge. And that's what this guy is all about. This is the G-Force Club. I've done a couple of videos on it for short game and full swing stuff. But I wanna talk about today, for those of you who really struggle with the transition and you're not patient enough to go through the drills in the right sequence and take the time to build a swing correctly, this little guy will force you to realize that that's the only way to do it, but it'll also help you develop a proper transition, proper timing and sequence of your swing, because trying to hit balls with this thing will probably be the most frustrating experience of your entire life. This thing bends like crazy but you can actually hit balls with it. Unlike most clubs or trainers like this, they don't even have club heads on the end. This guy's awesome because you can actually pound away at balls and it's gonna reveal every single little flaw that you may think or not realize that you have in your golf swing because any little aggressive move from the top, too quick in the transition, too aggressive with your hands, will leave this club face wide open and you will slap it off the planet to the right all day long. So. The great thing about this is it's gonna help you start feeling a proper load and stress of the shaft and maintaining that stress of the shaft down into the hitting area with a proper release. If you go aggressive from the top, you can see this thing is not gonna play nicely with you. It's gonna be bending out in front of you and if you're one of these guys who's really flippy and scoopy, this, is, this training is gonna completely change that because you'll never be able to make contact with the ball. So what you're gonna work on is being nice and smooth with your transition, letting your hands drop and release. Those of you who are Rotary Swing Academy members probably noticed that brand new video on the transition move, transition and how to shallow out the club. That drill you can do with this club and hit balls with it. It'll be an excellent uh, piece to add to that drill. But I'm gonna show you a couple things that you're gonna find when you swing this club. So there's one. The big high ball out to the right, I hit it right on the screws. However, I still sliced it 40 yards right with a seven iron, which is pretty absurd. How did I do that? All I did from the top was try and be really aggressive with my body rotation and the club face will never square up because the, the club, the shaft has a lot of torque, it'll twist very easily. And so what you'll find is if you start to try and turn your body through, with a steel shafted club that doesn't have that much torque, you can kind of get away with it. And so you don't really learn that that's a bad habit, but you just start hitting inconsistent shots. This guy is gonna force you to not be aggressive from the top because the club face will stay rotated open and then you'll have to try and flip it with your hands. So what I need to do to get the ball to go straight is slow my transition down, wait on my arms to come back down, and then release the club properly. So see if we can put that to all those three things together. There we go. Nice little straight ball. Now that ball went the same distance as the last one, but I felt like I was swinging half as fast. That's the whole, the mind trick with the golf swing is that when you really pure one, you typically swung at what you felt like was half speed. You tried to lay up on a par five and you hit it 50 yards further than you think. That stuff happens all the time because you sequence the swing correctly you get the club to come down on plane and then you can release the club assertively and get the ball to go where you want. So if you find that you can't get this ball to stop going right, I can assure you that you're being aggressive somewhere at the top of your swing as you're coming down trying to rotate your body or use your hands aggressively and the club face will just twist and it'll stay open all the way into the hitting area. If you try to be, if you tend to be really flippy with the club, you're gonna be seeing this ball go all over the place. So that will sit in the ball way hard left. So if you can hit the ball straight with this thing, you can hit the ball straight with anything. So it's a great way to start feeling these things that you can't really feel when you have a stiff shaft because the shaft lets you get away with a lot of murder. I always like to think that I'm swinging a golf club that's made out of, or a shaft that's made out of a piece of rope. You can't manhandle a piece of rope and this is the closest thing we've got to something that you can actually hit balls with that will swing like a piece of rope. It's called a golf swing, not a golf hit for a reason. So if you wanna work on your transition and your release and synchronizing your swing, pick up a G-Force today. It'll help you feel all these things we just talked about and you'll start hitting the ball further with less effort.